Hey there folks and welcome to the very first episode of Indie Corner with Noms. So Indie Corner is going to be a series based on independent games or at least semi-independent games that I check out for usually an episode, maybe two once in a while, but most likely just one episode. So this game is called Executive Assault. It's a game created by Robert Hesketh and a few other folks that uh, assisted with things like uh, game, with uh, game music obviously, Christopher Hesketh and um, other music, but beyond that, he pretty much did everything, um, which is really cool, it's really fantastic, it was built with Unity, which is really neat, I've played the game for a while now, okay, not not a while, i played it for a, a couple games, and it's um really neat, so you have, it's, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it, it's a real-time strategy game, if you've played Age of Empires before, it's like Age of Empires, but science fiction more futuristic in a sense and it's actually probably cooler um there are definitely differing features between the two games as you would expect but i would honestly i'm not sure which one i would pick over which especially for a game comparing that you know one which is this game created by one guy compared to a essentially massive title like the age of empires people i don't know what that game studio was i think it might have been microsoft I don't know, but you get the idea. Um, so Bob Corp is you. That's your computer. So you can pick what color you want and what team you're on. I will go. With, oops, I just changed it by accident. Will be blue. And for an AI, I will go with um, just something simple. We'll go with the shift supervisor, which is the second difficulty. There's four, I believe. There's janitor, shift supervisor, managing director, and chairman. Yeah, those are the four. So we'll go with the second hardest. We don't want them on our team, so that's what these are for. I don't. Yeah, okay, so then we can change things here. They have uh, extra staff, chief financial advisor. Kind of these are like benefits to make it easier or harder for you depending on the game. But we don't need any changes. We are good with just the basics. So let's go to launch, eh? I love this animation back here. That's fantastic. And I'll give you kind of a quick rundown on how it works. There is an entire first-person perspective aspect to this game, which is also really cool. So you walk over here to this place, you hit E. You want to hit it quickly because whether you're playing against a computer or since the game is fully multiplayer, if I'm not mistaken, um, you can also play against people. So here we are. We got research. We have a whole bunch of different subdivisions of research from units to weapons to structures. So we'll go to structures for now. And we're going to uh, research the high research facility, or research facility, rather. And up here, it tells you how long it's taking, obviously. You have a power feature you have to manage, as well as an iron. Um, so these little guys over yonder, you're going to want to build iron on them. But first, got to build a power station, for example. The power station allows you to actually utilize your power. And from there it materializes, and then you want to go ahead and drag an iron extractor. Let me bring it. Okay. Well, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have played this game so much. You need a drone fabricator. So these little round guys will pop out of this machine, right? And once it's materialized, then we can start actually building things. Uh, we're gonna take it over here as well. We'll even drag one up to here, right? And then these guys, the power pylons, are essentially like telephone poles. They direct the uh, power streams, the collections. So, yeah, that should connect pretty easily, I think. Yeah, it did. Good. Goody, goody, good. So we gotta keep spreading it. This yellow light, obviously, this beam that connects everything here is some uh, supposed to be the energy ray or whatever you want to call it really uh so we got that and you can even scroll over and see what your enemy is doing i'm not sure exactly what rules the ai applies by or uh, plays by rather but i know that for players it's the same rules as you do i don't think the uh ai researches things though i'm not sure I mean, the game is still in alpha of course it's still in development it's not a complete game but it runs really well um and it also has some really fantastic concepts and already built-in functions. We have an entire defenses area, which is small at this point, only because we haven't started researching anything yet. 
then we're also going to research stuff like extraction upgrade we can change exactly how quickly you can kind of increase the speed at which you extract things uh we are going to want what we're going to want a robot factory we don't have the money yeah i think you need what thousand thousand let's just wait a second so up here obviously it tells you how much you're making an iron and iron is the uh most helpful and really the most important resource you can have in this game since we've got this research facility we're going to open this drone fabricator and create drones from there we're going to click on a drone and send him to pick up resources these little gems you see in the ground are specific resources there's like there's obviously trion and hesgosium and then there's um another one i don't know what it's called let me see can i click it can i see no okay but some uh change how much power you have let's see this should show you i guess it doesn't show you thorium right Thor thorium increases the power income and then this is also thorium and the one increases your um the research speed or de decreases your research time rather um Again, not everything about the game is completely polished. The graphics aren't phenomenal. Uh, I mean, they're really, again, I'm not knocking the game. I'm just saying, like, if we're going to look at it realistically speaking. They are not fantastic graphics. They're really good. And I am totally okay with them, and I don't mind them in this, this state that they're in. But, I mean, if you look for something completely polished, obviously you would not look for it in a indie game. Or, at least I would hope you're not. Eh. We're just dragging, obviously, each drone to the place it needs to go. And these guys are about to attack our thing. So, we got to make some robots. There's a design menu wherein you can add features that you've researched. So, in essence, unlocked to your robots. But, obviously, we haven't unlocked anything. These are all defaults. So, we're just going to... Oops. Just going to make, it like, ten of them. And... Oh, we are totally over stepping our bounds of power. When you get too much, you can't create more power, obviously, so you just run out. So we changed it to uh, minus 24, so that we always had one increasing to our 10,000. And once we have 10,000, it'll increase, but this way it's always going. From here, you can repair or sell buildings and defenses, structures, depending what you need. Um, you guys can go up here. You get to kind of drag units and click where you want it to go. Which is also neat. Maybe we'll send some guys over here. And our extraction upgrade research is done. So now we're going to go to structure. Uh, no, units. I'm sorry. Units. And you can unlock a vehicle factory. Research it, rather. Or an aircraft factory. And these create planes or like tanks or jeeps, depending on which one it is, obviously. Uh, let's go with the vehicle, f uh, we'll go with airplane for now because there's less time. And we'll send you up uh, out here for now. And we need to repair this because that red bar is obviously getting low. And that is no good. We don't want to lose that because they will then begin to build on it. Except the fact that we're losing these guys. So you guys should, how many other two? Now you can keep doing that. You should go over here. And calcite crystals, as you can see, are increasing or decreasing our research time. For example, this takes 2 minutes and 9 seconds, the vehicle factory, instead of 3 minutes like it took previously. And I'm hopefully going to have a bunch of those coming in. I don't know what you have, but go in there. Like, for example, the drones get kind of confused sometimes, which is, you know, not super great, but hey. You have to fix where it goes, no big deal. I can live with that. Uh, let's see, do we have any more drones that are lost? No. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We actually probably want some more because we didn't get that many, um, not get that many. Outside gems. I want seven at least so I can have my research go rapidly, right? So. Okay, I, I was going to show you that, but 
I already killed the enemy, so I can't really show you that now. So down here, you have this entire menu down here, and each one is different things. You have an attack uh, button, uh, stop or defend button. Not all these are functioning yet. For example, the guard button, I'm not sure how it's supposed to work. I might be using it wrong. But if you hit this one, direct control, you have a first person perspective on almost every single unit except for the drones so you know obviously you see our tower you see our units so you can shoot your gun you can see your health you got your aiming reticle and whatnot you can run you can walk you can press All f right. to make them follow you you can your radar which shows us those red squares obviously are the enemy so we got our guys following us and we can go and kill these guys even though it's very likely they'll just destroy us but it's not a big deal and they will because they're tanks and we are not tanks very not good so obviously we just got completely wrecked by tanks <laughs> this is not that's a bad idea you don't want, you don't usually want to do that but aircraft factory you can go up there aircraft factory is done we can go to here and you can see their units they show <clears throat> for example the dual fighter it's a fast one attack gunship which we research that but for right now we're going to research weapons. You have energy weapons and Tryon, which is kind of also an energy weapon, frankly, um, and a ballistics. So we'll open, we'll research something basic like a, uh, a pulse laser, right? And we lost our tower because we destroyed it. And we have, like, no units left. Whoops. But they're getting stuck. So it's okay. <laughs> Again, it is ND, so I mean, uh, that shouldn't happen if you're talking about playing with someone else. But the computer is not going to guide the uh, robots through the adequate terrain, of course. And he has some pretty steady updates, to be totally honest with you. He updates once every couple weeks at worst, I think. I'm kind of guessing. Um, I haven't played this game in a while. But it's, it's just something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Kind of give it a little, uh, give it some love. Because I really like this game. And I've only played against the AI. I have, ooh. So, that is more gems. Like this stuff we just picked up, the Hes uh, whether it's Hesgosium or the Trion or the Calcite, that can get spawned in once you've collected all the resource, or even before you have. And you get stuff like this, Hesgosium. We can drag your drone, and he gets over there. So I'm not going to play an entire match because I run out of time. I just want these videos to be pretty short and concise. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool game. It's on Steam. It's for something like, it was like 11 or $12 when I purchased it. So I mean, never mind the fact that you're supporting an indie developer. It was just one guy. I mean, imagine if he teamed up with like three or four other really good guys. Um, I'm sorry, really skilled developers. They could create some really fantastic stuff, or even just him by himself. I mean, sure, you got some stuff like this. I'm not going to lie. Is that fantastic? No, because the robots get stuck, and they start hitting each other. But they do tend to fix themselves. That guy escaped. <laughs> and you can do some crazy stuff. There are huge robots and huge, like, attack fortresses. All kinds of crazy stuff can happen in this game. Anyway, so thanks again for watching. My name is Noms. This has been a Noms Indie Corner. Until it, I can come up with a better name. So if you, uh, if you liked, check out the game, leave a like, uh, comment, suggestion, subscribe. If there's a game you think I should check out, feel free to leave that down there too. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.